Hey and welcome. I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over how to set up the Focusrite third gen for two PCs with audio pass through. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. Now, if you haven't seen my first video, there is more than one way to hook the Focusrite up to two computers. The first way does not use the pass through. If you would like to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description below. This is a much less flexible way. If you're using one mic for one PC and one mic for another, or just getting Focusrite set up for the first time and just wanted to use a single mic, I'll walk through how to set that up step by step. To get started, plug the Focusrite into the gaming PC, not the streaming PC, and make sure the drivers are installed. To get the drivers, let's go to Focusrite.com. You can get there by just searching Focusrite in Google and clicking on their homepage. From here, once you load up, log in and register your product. This will give you downloads to the drivers and any included software in the drivers downloads. All we need to do is just click the Focusrite Control 310 for Windows. This might give you other downloads like the 11 is here, but I think the one that's supported right now and most stable is the 3.10 for Windows. So just give that one a click. Once it's downloaded, give it an install. Click next, accept the terms and agreement and click next. It will give you an install location. Make sure that you install it in the default location and we want to do a full installation. I suggest always to make sure that you have the latest drivers to ensure that you have the least amount of issues possible. So again, we're just going to click install at this here page. It should say your destination, your setup, full installation and the selected components. We want to install everything. The install process here only take a second. Okay, once it's done installing, it is going to ask you to restart your computer. Please do this now. Okay, once it loads back up, it should launch the Focusrite control automatically. First thing, your computer's done restarting. If not, you'll be able to launch it from here by clicking the mixing and routing. And you will be able to change the settings by clicking here. Now what I suggest is to set the hertz and buffer rate to about 48 4800 hertz and the buffer size of 192. I find that works unless you're looking for something more a little bit more studio quality or if you're recording or something but if you're just streaming this here is perfectly fine and once you have that set just give this here a close. There's a few other settings in here that you can look over but it's just mostly the, the sample rate and your internal clock. Uh, nothing really for the solo for third gen that really matters like it doesn't give you anything in the output. So we can just close this for now because we're done in here. Now as it is it will only have a sound on either the left or right. So it'll only be in one ear or the other. This is very easy to fix with the Focusrite third gen. We just need to open up the sound settings by right clicking the sound icon in the taskbar. So go down here, give this a click and open the sound settings. Over here on the right, we'll see sound control panel. In here, we'll just want to go over to the recording tab. And from here, we should see all of our devices. First one we want to select is the analog 1x2. This is our Focusrite device and click on properties. In the advanced tab, the default format should be 2 channel by 24 bit. What I suggest doing here is changing this to 1 channel by 24 bit. This will make it so that the sound is in both ears instead of just one. So keep that in mind, it will only have sound in the left or right ear unless you change this down to 1 channel. If it's a 2 channel 24 bit, you will get it only in one side. So make sure it's 1 channel, this will fix that problem. And click OK. Next. I want the mic to pass through the capture card over the HDMI. Just like the speaker sounds are for me to hear my desktop at the same time and for my stream to hear it as well. So I'm going to set both of those up right now. Since we're already here in the recording tab, I'm just going to click the Focusrite USB audio device and click on the properties. From here, I'm going to go over to the listen tab. From here, what I want to do is click on the listen to this device. Now this is very important. Next. In this here drop down menu, you're going to want to select your capture card. So whatever it is that you're capturing, this is going to send it to that device. For me, it's the AVT GC 570D. This is an Avermedia capture card and this is what I'm currently using. So for me, that's what I'm going to select. This might be Elgato or depending on what you're using. Just make sure to click the apply after that's done and click OK. This will allow your stream to hear your mic and this will still let you be able to like use your discord or in-game mic as well as your mic still hooked to your PC and it's just splitting it in two different ways. It's sending it to your game and it's sending it to your capture card. So it's just sending it two different ways and I find this an easy fix to have uh, one mic with two PCs. Next, if you don't have it set, 
find the mixer. It should be just down the list at the very bottom in the recording tab. Click the properties on this one here as well. It's the same thing as for your mic. We want to go over to the listen and in here we want to listen to this device and in the playback devices pick the same capture card. So for me again this is GC570D. This is the Avermedia video card, so just send it to that one. This will send all your desktop audio to your streaming PC, and it will allow you to still send it to your headphones as well from your desktop. Now all you need to do is just click apply and click OK and give this a few tests just to make sure that your sound levels are correct. If you do, that's great. If not, go over your settings again, make sure things are checked and the right capture card and or input is selected. And there is a few other settings. If you happen to be in here and your voice is much too low for your game, you can click on the stereo mix, go into properties and go into level and make sure that you change the volume down or up depending on what you need. So if your game is super loud and it's much louder than your voice, I leave mine at 50%. Please don't set this at 100%. I suggest somewhere in the 70 range works really good. I put mine down to 55 because some of my games are really loud and you can always add gain in OBS. So if you're having problems, like I said, adjusting your mic, it's the same thing. If your mic is too low or too high, you can go into the levels and change it in here. I'm gonna change mine down just about 80% because I don't want it really loud. And if I need it louder, I can change it, like I said, in OBS. But that's it. If you're having issues, that's an easy way to change it. This is how you can change the mix of your audio. So if your voice is too low or too high, or if your game is too low or too high, you can change it in here by a couple of percentages. But again, please don't go to 100%. It may cause buzzing sometimes. So I like to stick under 70, 75% max on each. And I use the gain on the focus right for my mic volume. But depending on what you need, if the desktop is too low sounding on stream, you can change it here and what sound is being sent will be louder. But that's really all there is to it. I just added that at the end, just in case someone new is watching and setting it up for the very first time. I hope this gets you up and going with your two PC setup. If you think I forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you like or found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching guys.